KOCO's Ariel Reshev spoke to Durham's attorney. The story is new tonight at 10. As 19 year old Matthew Durham sits in a federal detention facility, defense attorney Stephen Jones is building the case to try to clear his name. These allegations are completely out of character with his life up to this point. Jones says Durham was coerced into confessing. They told him that he would not get his passport back and he would not be permitted to leave the country until he confessed. He talked to his parents. They told him to say whatever it took to get out of there. According to Jones, the leaders of Upendo Charity did not report the sexual abuse claims to Kenyan authorities. Instead, they went straight to the FBI. So does Matthew say that he did not do this? Yes. And in fact, anyone familiar with the chronology and the circumstances of the camp and how it's physically laid out would um, uh, be suspicious of uh, the FBI uh, affidavit. That affidavit says Durham admitted to performing sexual acts on several children. The belief that over a period of four days you could have these multiple rapes and sodomy in the middle of the night, and yet no one has seen that. Uh, is itself uh, telling. Jones believes Durham has been framed. They're trying to do a number on this 19 year old young man who's never been in trouble before, and we're going to fight it. And I did reach out to the FBI, but they aren't commenting on this investigation. Durham is expected to appear before a judge on August 1st for his preliminary hearing. If convicted, he could serve 30 years to life in prison. In the studio, Ariel Reshef, KOCO. Five news. And Stephen Jones is a high profile attorney. He represented Oklahoma City bomber Timothy McVeigh during his trial. McVeigh was convicted on several murder counts and put to death in June of 2001. If